Right now, it's Monday, September 10th, and today, Caitlin and I went to the mall like we always do, and we just throw ourselves around the mall and just try to have fun because there's not a lot to do in Massachusetts for fun, honestly. I'm whispering right now because it's like really late at night, and everyone in my house is sleeping. We were in Starbucks. We were about to try all the new like fall festive drinks that they have, whatever, and I'm on Twitter, and I'm scrolling, and I find out that Mac Miller's Vigil was finally announced and that it is for tomorrow in Pittsburgh, and I looked at it, and like my heart just like sank. I was like, oh dude like I wish we could go and then Caitlin and I gave each other the look and if you know what the look is the look is when Caitlin and I decide that we're gonna do something and there's just no going back I'll give you an example should I go buy a laptop yes can we actually do that right now like are you willing to make an impulse decision is there even a place to buy them oh there's yeah there's an act store insert clip of me buying a laptop <laughs> this is the one this is what happens when we hang out for the first time in four months. You end up buying a MacBook. <laughs> we had a nice run. I'll see you in four more months when I have more money. Yeah, so that was earlier this year at the mall. So, you know, we need to stop going to the mall because we keep getting ourselves into situations. We were just like, you know what? Why shouldn't we do this right now? Why shouldn't we just say fuck it and get our shit together and just get in the car a couple hours later? This happened at 7 o'clock. It's now 10.30. Caitlin's on her way to my house right now. And we are going to the vigil. We're about to drive nine hours in the pouring rain to go to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for this vigil. And the reason why this vigil is so important is because it's at Blue Slide Park. And that was Mac Miller's first album ever. It was literally called Blue Slide Park. So it's really important. It's really, really special. It's literally just where he just grew up going to and they're doing the vigil at that. I'm so upset about him that the only way I'm really gonna find peace with this is if I go. The craziest thing about this is before we officially decided that we were going, we were like, let's tweet about it, let's post about it, let's see what's like going on. Let's see if we can count on anyone possibly offering up their house to us for the night and letting us crash somewhere, like on a couch or anything. We wanted to do this at the bare minimum like cost just because it's very last minute and it's very impulsive. So we posted about it, we got a couple offers. I had this one girl named Talia who told me that her and her family were gonna let me and Caitlin sleep in their basement for the night when we got there tomorrow and I was set on that I was like cool I don't really need much I just want to sleep on a couch somewhere I just want to be able to sleep in between the nine hour drives and the vigil I checked my Instagram messages and found out that there was another girl and, and this girl decided to offer us up her empty apartment that she was in the middle of moving out of and I was like oh like thank you like but I think I'm already staying in like this girl's like basement like whatever like it's totally fine and we kept talking and all of a sudden this girl decided that she wanted to buy me and Caitlin a hotel room and I just didn't know what to say to that. And I was like, why do you want to offer us a hotel room? Why are you doing that? Like you have an apartment we could stay at. Why are you doing this? And she was like, well, you know what? I fuck with your videos. Like I've been watching you for a while now and I honestly want to do this for you. A random girl on the internet who watches my videos and likes me so much to the point where she cares about how much this death is affecting me and how bad I want to go to this vigil. She booked me and Caitlin a room at a hotel in Pittsburgh. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Hannah. Honestly, like Hannah and Talia, thank you so much for just showing such kindness to me right now and thank you so much Hannah for booking us a hotel room like I really can't believe that we're about to go do this right now I wasn't expecting to stay in a hotel room at all so it's really crazy what the internet does for you sometimes so thank you so much for that this really does mean so much to me you have no idea I don't like car rides I hate them more than anything in the world the only thing that was stopping me from doing this was the nine hour car ride but you know what if I want to go to anything even remotely like one of his concerts ever again in my life this is the closest I'm ever going to get so I have to do this for myself and I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to face my fear of long car rides and I'm going to do this and I'm gonna make some pretty cool memories so thank you Hannah and Talia for already making this one of the most memorable trips of my entire life and here we go <laughs> eight hours and 42 minutes 561 miles make it 600 <laughs> Listening to jams while I'm sitting in my van. This is who I am. Wrote these 
lyrics on my DNA code Happy as hell, MDMA, yo Fuck a job, there ain't no one that I call my boss We just trying to work so we can blow up like a Molotov And it kinda wake me up like a coffee shop Thinking about my people who was murdered in the Holocaust Got me thankful just for life by itself And there's way more people here I should be trying to help And my phone for spending money how I do Probably yes, it's just funny old people see the logo on my chest You got your thumb hell high, we can be friends Other people pretend we hang out on the weekends These fuckers a little bit creepy so we just leave them Say so get some rest when I die Hey yo, I'll Pennsylvania night, 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 30 flight lights Thinking to myself, where does all this go? go. No time to care, got it you understand how much my body actually hurts right now from being in a car for 10 hours since 3 in the morning until hello is someone trying to get in this room I mean the more the merrier it's like 1 30 right now we just got here I'm in the middle of uploading a video right now Caitlin is starting to get ready and the vigil is officially in a couple hours I am having awful anxiety right now if we're being honest I don't know why I think it's just like really hitting me right now like what's actually going on and everything is just so weird and is just hitting me at once also I'm very overtired. I got an hour and maybe 15 minutes of sleep last night. Like I literally slept from 1.45 in the morning until like three and then that's when we got up and left. I'm overtired. Also found out that it's this time of the month today. We are amplified with emotions today, but it's okay. We don't know what time to go to this. So that's what we're figuring out right now. And you'll figure it out too, because I'm taking you along on this. So uh, let's see what time I leave my hotel room. We are about to leave the hotel room right now and go to Blue Slide Park. How do you feel? Overwhelmed. Yeah, this is really overwhelming. I've grown up my entire life literally listening to Mac Miller's Blue Slide Park album. And now I'm about to go there and I really never imagined myself ever doing that and I'm going there for a reason that I don't want to be going for. And also it's been just starting to like hit both of us that we're not going to see Mac Miller. Like he's not showing up at this, he's not here. We're going to like mourn the fact that he's not here. So I don't know. It's just like, it's so weird to accept, but we're going to try to make the best of it because it, I don't know. What else can you really do? But I am excited to just ball my eyes out for the next six hours. So here we go to Blue Slide Park. I think I'm going to throw up. years old with a dream when my mom's told me i could do anything said she'd be there forever no matter what's the weather she'd always have my back even when we weren't together and i took her for granted i thought i had a plan it's a different generation i don't think you'd understand it most though everybody please put a thumb in the air But uh, he loves you all, he loves Pittsburgh and everything that you have done for him. Thank you so much for everybody being here. You are wonderful.
the next day and I look disgusting. I'm not even pointing the camera. At <laughs> I'll talk about like how I felt about everything last night at another point in time. But yeah, I just parked my car somewhere random and now we're about to go into a Frick Park Market, which is just so weird because I've grown up listening to this song. So here we go. Oh, they have shirts. It's over for me. I'm gonna feed the world. You can put it on my tab. Run into my legs on up. I don't plan on looking back. Anything you need, you can find it at the market. If you don't hold me down for all I care, you can store fish. About seven years ago, right? Wait, you've had this for seven, seven years. years. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, let me get a turkey sandwich, uh, lettuce, tomato, fish. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. We drove nine hours. We did 15. Really? No way. And I walked out of there with the shirt. As soon as I saw the shirt in the window, I knew that it just had to be done. Yeah, that was crazy. I can't really believe that they had a seven-year-old sandwich that like he signed and everything there. The lady was so nice there too. So like that was really good. I'm really glad we got to do that before we left. And now I have a shirt because normally I like to buy things when I go places and there wasn't really a shirt for this occasion because why would there be? I don't think anyone predicted it. Yeah, no, I don't. No one was prepared with the merch. No one had merch ready for this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a party on fifth day. Party on fifth day. If you trying to go, if you trying to go, I can be there in like 20. I'm a monk and then come running because we gotta hit the road. We gotta hit the road. Make sure you gotta. <laughs> I don't know what that dance move was. We might just have to throw a party of our own just to give ourselves the full Pittsburgh experience. Well, Pittsburgh, we literally were only here for actually exactly 24 hours. It's really? 150 right now. Oh shit. Wait, that's crazy. 24 hours in, in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh challenge. Day. We're just gonna drive outside of the city, get gas, and then start doing a hike home. This is what the day consists of. As of right now, we're getting home at 10.30. At night? Yeah. <laughs> It's been one for the books. I can't say I regret this at all. I'm honestly so grateful we did this. And yeah, I'll make a big speech about this later. So for now, I'm gonna start driving. Medium caramel swirl iced coffee, extra caramel, and then extra cream and extra sugar. I still don't know anything about coffee. So every time we go to Dunkin' Donuts, I still make her order for me because I don't know what I get. You should probably learn. <laughs> Hell no. You just don't know. Okay, so welcome to the speech that I've been kind of talking about the entire video that I didn't have time to film until right now. Basically, I just want to sum up the entire experience and let you know what was going through my head the entire time and just all the random things that I feel like spitting out of my head. So first off, I just want to end this by saying that this was by far the best decision of my entire life. I'm just honestly so proud of myself for doing that. Normally, I would let something like a nine hour car ride stop me from doing this. You know, I really don't like car rides. The idea of a car ride is always worse than the actual car ride itself. So that's what I tried to tell myself before this trip. I was like, you just need to get in the car and just do it and you will not regret the outcome at all. That's 100% what happened. And like as much as the whole experience was genuinely so depressing, it was really good, I guess, for the people who are just so upset over this. So I'm really, really grateful that I had the opportunity to go to this because I know a lot of people wish they could have went. The vigil itself was absolutely amazing. It was just hours and hours and hours of standing there listening to song after song after song. And like in those moments, there was nothing you could complain about. I remember at one point I had been standing there for four hours and I looked at my phone and I realized like, wow, I've been standing here for four hours and I've just been listening to his songs, singing them with this entire crowd and I don't have anything to complain about. Like normally I hate standing around somewhere and I hate waiting for something, but like I wasn't waiting for something. Like everything that I needed and wanted was going on right then and there. I wasn't thinking about when I was leaving. I wasn't even thinking about sleep. It was weird though because the entire nine hour ride, Caitlin and I listened to only Mac Miller the entire way there to Pittsburgh. It kind of felt weird to just even think about listening to anyone else at the time. When we got to the vigil, they obviously were playing Mac Miller songs, so it was songs that I'd already been listening to all day. And this is gonna sound cheesy, no matter how I explain it, but you know, I'm just gonna explain it anyways. It sounded like he was like there for some reason when his songs were playing there, probably because there was an entire giant crowd of us singing back to the songs as if it was like an actual concert. For me, this felt like it was a final concert with him, like it felt like an encore. It was a really weird concept. It's just so sad to think about like that's the last time that I will ever be in like a Mac Miller based crowd because when you go to a concert you're in a crowd based on that artist and like 
I don't get that anymore. That's never gonna happen again, and it's just fucking heartbreaking. Everyone could cry as much as they needed to at this, which is amazing for someone like me who's literally always crying over one thing or another. You know, I was just bawling my eyes out the entire time, and I didn't have to think once, like, oh my god, am I gonna look stupid for crying? Like, am I, like, embarrassing myself? No. Everyone was fucking bawling their eyes out. We were all there to cry. The community just came together in such like a beautiful way, I guess, that I was just like, I wish I was from here. Like, this is amazing. I do want to make two shoutouts though before I end this video. Once again, like the biggest shout out to Hannah. This probably wouldn't have been as possible or comfortable without you. So thank you for just being absolutely amazing. You are in for some good karma, my friend. You are going to have some amazing things happen to you, I absolutely promise. And I also want to make a big shout out to the channel Yes Theory. If you're not aware of who Yes Theory are, they're a group of three guys who literally do the most amazing things ever. I'm gonna like put in screenshots of some of their titles and their videos right here so you can like see what they're about. You need to go check out their channel because they are so inspiring. This trip probably wouldn't happened if I had never come across their channel because they always try to preach about like the kindness of strangers and like you never know what a stranger will do for you because they always go on these trips where they try to do 24 hours in like a foreign country only surviving off of like the money strangers give them or the hospitality that strangers give them. And when Caitlin and I were in the mall trying to decide if we were going to do this trip or not, I literally looked at her and I was like, bro, what would Yes Theory do? Like, would they do this? And we were like, fuck yeah, like, they would totally do this because this is only a nine-hour drive stopping us from going to this, so, like, let's fucking do it. Like, we need to live more like that. We need to be more spontaneous. We're pretty impulsive gals as it is, but, you know, there's always a little bit more room for impulsivity. I just wish I knew how to speak my language. And I ended up messaging one of the guys at Party Yes Theory. His name's Amar, and I told him about what we were doing literally a couple hours before we left for Pittsburgh and he ended up messaging back and gave me like the sweetest message of encouragement so thank you so much for that that really meant a lot because I've been watching you guys for a while so all of you need to go fucking check them out right now or I might be mad long story short if you want to do something don't make up excuses for yourself as to why you shouldn't do it you need to go do it this is me trying to be optimistic right now this is still a very sad situation I still just am so fucking mad about all this I got an email from Ticketmaster the other day saying we're refunding you for your Mac Miller show in November and I was like sick love to hear that why is the world like this the world is fucking awful I also feel like I've learned a lot from this trip too and just this whole experience like life is short you need to do what you want to do. So if you have things you want to do, you need to start doing them now because one day you'll look back and be like, I fucking wish I did these things when I had the chance. But for those of you who were fans of Mac Miller and you didn't get to go to the vigil, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this can do something for you. If you were never a big Mac Miller fan, thank you for sticking around while I'm literally just so heartbroken over this and thanks for putting up with my videos and my tweets about this. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you think of this. I actually can't wait to hear and I will see you guys in my next video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stop making excuses for yourself. Go do the things you need to do. And I love you guys. Peace Stress, out. No worries. You can call me cousin. Sunshine.